the Harappan civilization. Civilization is said to be an advanced stage of human cultural development. It implies the use of superior technology and complex economic relationships. Some of the traits which mark a civilization are number one, evolution of cities, number two, surplus food, number three, division of labor, number four, system of writing, number five, public buildings, number six, development of technology. The period between 4000 and 3000 BC saw remarkable progress. Man acquired greater knowledge and skill in mastering the forces of nature. He took to agriculture and made more efficient tools and started living a settled life on the banks of rivers. So a number of dispersed farming villages evolved first into towns and then into cities. The river valleys had the agricultural potential to support a dense population and produce surplus food. The surplus food freed some people for the task of producing their own food. These individuals gradually became specialists and developed a substantial range of new skills such as writing, using metals and making the alloys, seal making and large scale construction. Such knowledge and skills enable people to advance to a new stage in the progress of civilization. The Bronze Age Civilization From using stone stool from using stone tools man gradually came to know the use of metal. Metals were more durable than stone and could be used for making a variety of tools, implements and weapons. The first metal to be discovered was copper. For a long time, stone implements continued to be used along with copper. This period when man used both stone and copper tools is known as the Calcolithic period. Later on, man learned the art of mixing copper with tin, tin or zinc to produce the alloy called bronze. Bronze is harder and more ductile than copper. Therefore, more suitable for the manufacture of tools and weapons. Because of the importance of bronze in the growth of the first civilization, these civilizations are known as the Bronze Age Civilization. By about 2500 BC, four Bronze Age civilizations emerged. They were the Harappan Civilization, the northern western part of India and Pakistan, the Mesopotamian civilization on the banks of the river Euphrates and Tigris in modern Iraq, the Chinese civilization in the valley of Hang Ho and Yangtze rivers and the Egyptian civilization on the banks of Nile river in Egypt. The Harappan Civilization The discovery of Indus Valley Civilization in the 20th century was an important event in the history of India. Up to this time, it was believed that the history of India began with the advent of the Aryans. However, the discovery of the Harappan Civilization stretched back the origin of the Indian history so as to put it at par with the other oldest civilizations of the world, namely 
Mesopotamian and Egyptian civilizations. The Indus Valley civilization is best known as the Harappan culture or the Harappan civilization. The term culture is used by the archaeologists for a group of objects together with a specific geographical area and period of time. In the case of Harappan culture, these distinctive objects are seals, weights, stone blades and baked bricks. It is also called the Harappan civilization because the Harappan site was the first to be discovered in 1921 at the modern site of Harappa situated in the province of West Punjab in Pakistan. Mohenjo-daro was discovered in 1922. Both lie in the Indus Valley region. Sources Our knowledge of the Harappan civilization is based entirely on the archaeological remains such as buildings, pottery, sculpture, seals and cemeteries. This is so because no adequate written records are available. A number of seals were discovered with a few letters engraved on each, but the script has not been deciphered as yet. Therefore, the major sources of our information about the Harappan civilization are the following. The Great Bath The Great Bath is one of the largest public buildings at Mohenjo-daro. It has a large rectangular tank in a courtyard surrounded by a corridor on all four sides. There are two flights of steps, one in the north and the other in the south leading into the tank. To make the pool watertight, burnt bricks and mortar lined with bitumen and gypsum were used for construction. The water for the bath was provided by a well in an adjacent room. Surrounding the bath were porticios and sets of room and a stairway which led to an upper story. Some scholars believe that these rooms were provided for the members of some kind of priesthood, whereas Others think that the rooms were provided for changing clothes. This structure with several distinctive features has led scholars to suggest that it was meant for some kind of a ritual bath. The Great Bath is an important source of information that throws light on the life of the people and culture of the Harappan civilization. The construction of the Great Bath indicates that the art of building had reached a high degree of perfection at that time. The massive structure points out that there might have existed a ruling class that could, that could mobilize labor, collect taxes and build such a huge structure for the public. Most of the scholars agree that the Great Bath might have been used for religious purposes. This indicates the importance attached to ceremonial bathing in sacred tanks, pools and river since time immemorial. The design of the Great Bath portrays the efficient planning in the structural features relating to water supply and sewage disposal. The citadel. The raised area of each city was called the citadel. It owed its height to the buildings constructed on mid -bri mud bricks platforms. The citadel had the house of the ruling class and important buildings like the Great Bath, 
the granary, the assembly hall and the workshops. The citadel points to the elaborate planning that went into the development of cities and justifies that the Harappan civilization was an urban civilization. The presence of specific buildings and houses of the ruling class indicate some sort of social classification. Seals The seals used by the Harappans show their artistic skills. About 2000 seals have been discovered. Of these, a great majority comprise short inscriptions with pictures of stone, with pictures of one horned bu bull, buffalo, tiger, goat, elephant and rhinoceros. Materials used in making the seals comprise terracotta, steatite, agatite, etc. Most of the seals are rectangular or square, but some of them are circular in shape. Harappan seals provide useful information about the script, trade, religion and beliefs of Harappans. Seals of Pashupati show that people believed in Shiva. It shows a three-faced deity wearing a buffalo horned head dress, seated cross-legged on a throne and surrounded by an elephant, a tiger, a buffalo and a rhinoceros with two deer at its feet. This deity has been identified as Pashupati Mahadeva. The unicorn seal shows the mystical beliefs. The seals bear some kind of script which had not been deciphered. The seals were used by traders to stamp the goods. After a bag with goods was tied, a layer of wet clay was applied on the knot and the seal was pressed on it. These seals were found in different regions. This indicates that the Harappan trade had spread over a vast area.